Shalom. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty power. Call Halim La Allah Hayanawa Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem Harakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ila coming to you with another lesson. And our Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled Re. They hide it not, right? Which is derived from the book of uh, Isaiah, the third chapter in the ninth verse. And um, this lesson will pretty much be a land back off of the video that the brother had put up, whose channel was entitled GMS Truth is Fierce. And the video that the brother put up is uh, They Hide It Not, right? So a Lord willing the elect of Yahweh by Shimei, I wish I'd be edified. And, um, damn, <laughs> kind of jumped right into it. Uh, so let me see how oh, well this works. All right. Hold tight. Right, so, uh, yeah, Lord willing the elect of your help by Shimei, I wish I'd be edified, and I have a clip that I want to play. I may not play the whole thing, but, um, if you want to watch the whole thing, then you can, I'll put the link to the brother's video within the description. Matter of fact, let me do that now. Right, so, uh, let's get into it. And really, that's all we need to hear, you know, kind of on the schedule, you know, but really, that's all we need to hear, you know, that really, I'll play a bit more. Do you hear what this nigga is saying? This is what this is what you have, and notice how he's speaking like it's normal, like it's none wrong with it, uh, with it, Salakia. <laughs> with it, right? No, uh, what is it? A uh, regurgitating, but no, no pondering about what he's saying, right? He's just speaking as if it's normal, which it's not. It's fucking filthy, man. If if you don't like what I'm saying, hey, your ass going to taste death, man, Lord willing. Right? If you support these, you know, alpha, alphabet soup folks, right? The rainbow sherbet folks, well, death awaits you too. If you don't, you know, if, if Lord willing. Right? So, I mean, that's pretty much... I don't got to play any more of that, man. Right? The point was made. So let's get the scriptures. You got this old-ass Jake. Not that, you know... But I I'm, I can't show this guy no respect, man. Just like the brother said that I'm uh, getting this video from. You know, so I'm gonna call you. You are old ass Jake, right? Come on, man. Let me see. Let me. Let 
and you heard the nigger woman. She said, we have no judgment here. You see, this place is just filthy, right? It's totally contrary to the ways of the Lord, right? There's no, they, these people don't uphold the word of the Lord as their standard. They don't even think about it, right? Most of them. You have some people that do, but even those that do, they don't know what's going on, man. Those are damn Christians, right? Or, you know, fucking, uh, you know, so-called so Jehovah Witness, which Jehovah is not the name. There's no J in the Hebrew, and the Bible is written in Hebrew. So if that's the case, the word Jehovah is not even in the Bible, right? So how the hell is that the name? That's not the goddamn name. Not like that, but that's not, that is not the name, right? The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, right? But sticking to the point, let me just close that. First scripture I want to get is the book of uh, Isaiah, the third chapter, and the ninth verse. Right, Isaiah 3 and 9. The shoe of their continents doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. And that's what the guy just did. He declared his sin as Sodom. No shame, no um, care about what people look, will think. Right? They hide it not. Woe, meaning utter destruction unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Right? See? Right? They declare their sin as Sodom. And what is sin? Let's get the book of uh, 1 John, the third chapter, and the fourth verse. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Which that's talking about the law of the Lord, which that should be clear, right? And let me get this as well Romans 6 and 23, right? Because uh, Moism, and you should know what I'm talking about, but Moism is a sin unto death, and so is Beanism, right? You should know what I'm talking about. Elboism, elbow, oh, elbowy, Elbianism. Now you should know, right? Both of those are sins unto, uh, both of those are sin unto death. Right? So, if you, hey, <laughs> boy, if he was, because in the ancient world, man, hey, it was way more, uh, ancient. I, I can't find a word for it, but it was way more, uh, man, you know? I mean, you can read about the account where the guy, um, the Jake was found gathering sticks on the Sabbath and he got stoned to death. Stoned to death. Right? You have certain judgments where those that committed a certain act, if I'm not mistaken, will be burnt with fire. Matter of fact, this act, if you commit this act, you'd be burnt with fire. Let me get that. If I'm not mistaken. Right? Let me see. This is uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Which a, 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 an abomination is a, a detestable act, right? Or if is that the word detestable? Deserving intense dislike, well, yeah. A thing that causes disgust or hatred, a feeling of hatred, right? And this is something that the Lord utterly hates, right? Leviticus 20 and uh, so if you support it, well, guess what? The Lord utterly hates you, right? Leviticus 20 and 10, I'm sorry, 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Let me also get Leviticus the 18th chapter in the 22nd verse. 
Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with woman. It is a, it is abomination. That's against nature. Let me also get a First Corinthians to six chapter in the ninth verse. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, right? Soft, right? Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Let's see what that means. Hold tight, I'm pulling it up. Let it roll. Okay, let's retry that. Come on, mate. All right. Let's try it again. Should work. Man. But abusers of themselves with mankind is going into. Moism, right? That's going into uh, homosexuality. I'm going to just say it, right? Verse 10, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And, uh, Lastly, let me get the book of Colossians, uh, verse 5 through 6. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience. And that word fornication is an umbrella of things, right? Because you have spiritual fornication. You have Moism, you have uh, Elbianism, right? You have um, um, bestiality. So fornication is an umbrella of things. And I wanted to show it, but the uh, Blue Letter app is not, you know, it's not working for me right now as far as going into the, you know. God damn. Let me try this. <laughs> When you try and go into the interlinear, interlinear, I mean linear or linear, interlinear. It's taking a while. Maybe if I, uh, okay, it gives the, uh, Well, well uh, that's pretty much the point. Okay, never mind. Well, that is pretty much the point, but as you see right here, fornication meaning, well, right here you see illicit sexual intercourse, and it says adultery, fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, intercourse with animals, etc., and then you also have, like down here, letter A, or really, uh, Mataf, number two, the worship of idols, right, of defilement of idolatry as incurred by eating the sacrifices offered to idols, but the worship of idols, right? Well, let me try going to the abusers of themselves with mankind. First Corinthians 6. Well, in the works. (laughs) 
Yeah. So with that, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halaim La Alahayan Awa Yahweh by Shimi Awa Shai by Shimi Harakak Wadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shimi Awa Shai scattered across, across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh by Shimi Awa Shai, Baba Kashai, Ababa Ba. Watch Shalom DTA soon and stay sharp.